Many people measure an hour by 60 minutes. Some might measure as 3,600 seconds. In Charles County Public Schools, an hour is all it takes to create an unforgettable educational experience and open students' eyes to a world of possibilities. From December 8th through the 13th, students, staff, and even parents participated in a global event designed to show everyone they can program and tell a computer what to do. All it takes is one hour, an hour of code. The great thing about the hour of code is that it did get folks who may not be involved directly with computer science education. It gave them some awareness of what computer science education is and what computational thinking skills are. We want to break this whole notion that, the com that computing is something for others, for something for some other group of people to somehow do, but it's something that we can all do. Computer science is a, an untouched subject and I think it's a very important subject considering that the world is turning into a technological based world. So I think that this is very important for students to know about and just learn. Each school gave students the chance to learn about computer science concepts with hands-on engaging activities. While these activities were done in computer labs and technologically capable areas, many of the students did their hour of code in non-science and computer classes. These seniors at Westlake High School did their hour of code during their second period English 4 class. I have went to the frozen type of app and it has like 20 different levels and then you just build off of different types of blocks and see if it'll work. You know, you change the degrees, you change turns. It comes easier as you learn it, but it's very complex. If you like problem solving, you'll really like stuff like this. On a scale from 1 to 10 on how hard it is, maybe like a 7 or 8. And I enjoy it actually quite a lot because for me, a lot of these subjects are easy. So computer science for me actually lets me use my full mental ability. It's a fun time for me. That one thing relates to another, even cross-curricularly, is, is very, very important because, you know, they know that it's not just English, that it's English and science, it's English and history, it's history and math, you know, it all does go together. The Hour of Code also gave the chance for schools to collaborate. These fifth grade students at William A. Diggs Elementary School were really enjoying their Hour of Code. They were so engaged, they didn't spend a lot of time talking to some visitors to their classroom. These students are from North Point High School and members of the school's technology team. They were actually doing a pretty good job. They were doing the code mostly by themselves. They just needed a little help with the numbers sometimes, but overall it was pretty good. They were very amazing. Some a girl was turning around and trying to position herself like the characters and I saw myself in her. They are inspired by the fact that older student uh, is here to show me something that I can do one day. I think that's a really good thing for them to have at uh, North Point and a collaboration with any school uh, on an elementary level to inspire those younger students. <laughs> Not all Hour of Code events were just for students. Parents at Mary H. Matula Elementary School spent their evening on December the 11th learning what their children learned about computer science. Whether it was moving Anna or Elsa from Frozen or getting a unicorn to work, parents got the classroom experience their students enjoy at Matula. My son was very eager to get here tonight. The computer lab is one of his favorite classes. I think it's great. I mean, computers are our future. The kids are learning amazing things, um, more than what we know as, you know as the parents, so we're trying to catch up to what they're learning, so I think this is great. It was neat to see they really enjoy it. They're kind of understanding how different pieces fit together, so a lot of it is not just, you know, thinking that something just magically happens or, you know, somebody just puts something together, but there are certain steps that you have to take to, to achieve the final result. Superintendent of Schools Dr. Kimberly Hill paid a visit to several schools during the Hour of Code, but her first trip on December 8th is hard to top. Dr. Hill went to the White House to speak on a panel about the benefits of integrating computer science and its basic concepts into learning for all students. The reaction that I got, and I think the reason that we were invited from Charles County Public Schools, was because of the early entry computer science education that we're committed to. And that really was the piece that was the aha moment, I think, for the audience at the White House was, wow, that really does make sense to really, if you're going to be true to really leveling a playing field, you've got to start where kids start. 
and that's in kindergarten. So to be able to serve on that panel was something that was, was an honor. Code.org sponsored the Hour of Code in celebration of Computer Science Education Week. The organization's goal is to give students the chance to learn about computer science and develop skills like problem solving, persistence, and creativity that will help students in any career they choose to pursue. We can't speak for other school systems, but in Charles County Public Schools, we can say, mission accomplished. It makes me feel like I'm doing something, something that is something I like to do and something that I'm really good at doing, so it makes me feel better. I actually did the ELSA um, version of the Hour of Code and I, I loved it. I love uh, the new ideas they come with, come up with on the site. Technology is our future, our kids are our future, and with both of them together combined, it's going to help my son grow. I think this is really, really, really good. I love it. I love that we're starting all the way at the kindergarten level because they're like sponges, you know, when they're, when they're little and everything, um, they just absorb so much of it. There's so many wonderful things we can solve. Medical problems, we can solve economic problems, we can solve all kinds of difficulties. For the students here to see the impact they're having on others and for those students to be impacted by people like themselves, I think brings a real power. I was very pleased with the Hour of Code. I think we're on the cutting edge with this and we want to remain on the cutting edge with this. So the more folks we can bring in, the better. Very good navigator. Make it ten. Make it ten. Oh, ten.